Hi everyone, welcome back to Common Time Productions. Today we're diving deep into Mixcraft 10. We'll be exploring five features you absolutely should be using but might not know about. So without further ado, let's get started. first feature in Mixcraft we're going to take a look at is the loop library. So down at the bottom here we can see that uh, we're in the little tab of the library. We've also got a mixer, sound information, project information, but at the moment we're going to look at the library tab. And so at the moment I'm in the loop library. It's sorted by song kit and this is the blues shuffle. And so this was stuff I was playing around with. And so I brought in a blues loop. And then I'm going to actually turn loop mode on. And as you can see, start in the beginning, surrounds the loop. It's a 12 bar blues bass line. So we'll quickly check this out. All right, so we can see that, you know, we could easily turn the loop off, come back up here to the space line, copy it, paste, or drag it out as long as we needed to create part of like a backing track for a song. So that's just a quick and easy way to play with the loop library. Now let's check out the next feature on the list, Melodyne. So if we come back to our loop wave here, we can right click, come down to convert audio clip to MIDI. Very useful. And now we have a converted from audio to MIDI, the same notes, but now it's playing it as a piano. This is a real fun way of playing with stuff right away, and Melodyne helps us get that done very quick. We can also bring up that, you know, we used Melodyne here. This is uh, Melodyne 5 Essentials. So we've got the universal percussive and melodic. We used melodic on this one so that we could get the notes. You can also come in here and select the notes have it play for you. If you wanted it to be a different note, we can we can move this around. Lots of features, lots of fun things to do with Melodyne and a wonderful feature that is right there inside waiting to be utilized. Moving on to the next feature inside of Mixcraft is we're going to use the native instruments to give us a little more of a beefed up sound on this bass line. So instead of using the piano sound, we're going to come over to the instrument presets here. We're going to come over to VST Instruments, Glass Viper, Presets, Into Bass, Oh, this should be fun, fat and fretless. All right, we're just going to use it as is and see what happens. Ooh, that is low. All right, so it's a little low, so it's it's uh we're going to go in here and quickly use our step editor here. So we've got it in the piano triggers. You can see that's also the step editor if that's how you like it. We can also look at it in score format. Lots of wonderful features in here, but I want to use the transpose. And then we've got pitch adjustment by semitones. And I just want to take this up an octave, so 12 semitones. And enter. And now when I play this back, A 
real fun way to dress up anything that you've played. And, you know, you just want to add that little extra bit and get that, you know, something else in there to make it stand out. This is a real great way to just bring in a VST instrument, use Melodyne, clone your wave, turn it into a MIDI file, play that file back through a virtual instrument, and you can really start enhancing your productions. And so moving on to the next section here is another wonderful feature that we've got going on here is the performance panel. So coming over here to the performance panel, you know, we can use our existing session we've got going on. So we'll come back over to the library here. So we know that we like this baseline so far. I'm going to move my virtual instrument. I'd like to be able to see this a little more. Let's undock our loop library so we can have a better look at it here. All right, so let's, you know what? Let's actually, let's bring these into the performance panel. So let's build this track a little bit more. Oh, let's use the, uh, the hat and snare on this particular part. What else can we bring in here? Oh, that's a nice chunky rhythm guitar part. That'll work. Oh, and then we've got piano parts. Oh, yeah, we'll bring in the we'll bring in the first piano here. And then that's got a right hand accompaniment. So then we'll move on to the, we'll bring in bass two. The other drum riff, the other rhythm guitar. Let's see. This is where the guitar would, yeah. All right, and then the next piano part. Let's see, which one did we use? Piano one, so we'll use piano two. Hold that one back, bring in the offbeat. All right, well, this will fill it up kind of nicely. So with the performance panel, it will play all of our loops at once for us. If we set this up to be Okay, let's let's put in a safety measure of a uh, one bar, so when we make our changes, it'll listen. But this is a great way for you know professionals or amateurs to use it almost as if it was a DJ machine or a you know it's a it's a sampler. Anyone can then load these in and be able to construct quick demo songs or actual songs, full fledged songs. You know we're gonna show fun mixing techniques that we can take this stuff all the way to the end, but. Here's the performance panel and just a quick, you know, peek into what some of the possibilities are here. So let's let's play through this a couple of times and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about.
anyway, a very generic representation of what the possibilities are. But, you know, with some practice and figuring out where the cue changes are in what you're doing and, you know, we'll play around a lot more with the performance panel and playing with loops and writing songs inside of Mixcraft. But I wanted to go over some of these things that you've got to know about and you they are an absolute must to play with. They are so much fun, uh, real quick and easy ways to to create backing tracks and other things to, that then you can go grab your guitar and solo over. And the fifth and final feature that I wanted to share with you today is uh, the video editing functionality inside Mixcraft. I thought this was, you know, a very wonderful thing when I discovered it. And I realized that, you know, it's it's just your basic video editor. It seems to definitely handle like a static picture or basic animations. Being able to make a song and put together a lyric video real quick seems to be where it's got some serious fun and power. Um, so, you know, just a quick little, you know, demonstration of, you know, how easy this can be. And you take your picture and literally just drag it into the editor and drag it out the length of the tune. And then inside the video editor, we can add text or scrolling text. And then, of course, we can go in and edit this fun stuff. So as you can see, we can bring in that scrolling text. Well, just a basic quick demonstration of, you know, how quick we can use Mixcraft to make music and make lyric, lyric videos that we can then share with our friends and family and audience. So just one of the wonderful things I wanted to go over with Mixcraft with you. Okay, as a bonus section, I have to bring up, I almost forgot, so I guess this would be six. Inside Mixcraft, we basically have a channel strip. And on this channel strip, not to mention that we can organize it, which is really cool. We can see here that from the bottom, if we had a send track, it would show up right here. Actually, let's go ahead and put that in. All right, so a send track where we would put effects. All right, so we can see that the side panel here shows our tracks, and then this is our mixer. And all of the information for the mixer shows up here. So we've got, you know, send. It's got a compressor, drive, gain, basic EQ, volume, pan, our input information, solo mute arm, uh, whether or not it's a, uh, if it's a MIDI in, uh, MIDI track, it'll have the MIDI information, and then it'll also have the effects and VST channels that we can load here as well. Then right above here, we have got the parametric EQ. In Mixcraft, this parametric EQ is incredibly reminiscent of the SSL EQs. It is really close. It is really close. And so if you want to get a real quick taste of, ooh, okay, I, I, I need to see what this modern board sound is going to sound like on my track, it is right here. It is clean signal through. It, it, it does 
what it's supposed to do. Um, and it's very easy to use and incredibly reminiscent of driving an SSL channel. And so in combo with having the parametrics, the basic EQ, gain, drive, compression, and send for your effects chains, and then the ability to load several effects chains and the ability to stack inside buses and auxiliary tracks. We have an amazing amount of routing and functionality inside Mixcraft that really does make it a professional DAW and is a wonderful, wonderful asset to be able to play with. So there you have it, folks. These are the five features in Mixcraft 10 that you should definitely be exploring. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more content. See you in the next video.